So recently I've been getting really interested in lost media. I've spent far longer than I'd care to admit watching deep dives on YouTube. But one day, as I looked through the lost media archive, I noticed this. The Adventures of the ASOS Brigade. This was especially weird for me to see listed here, because I knew I'd seen at least some of this before, on the original Haruhi Suzumiya Season 1 DVDs. When I got my copy six years ago, it was a little hard to find due to a lack of reprints, but I wouldn't exactly call it lost media. And to be fair, the site doesn't call it that either, only partially lost. Though even then the information wasn't too accurate, what content was and wasn't lost just wasn't right. So I got out my DVDs and took stock of what I had, but as you'd expect it wasn't so straightforward. Disc 1 had episodes 0, 1 and 2. Disc 2 had episodes 5, 3 and 13. Disc 3 had 4.1, 4.2 and 9, while Disc 4 had episodes 10, 11 and 12. A bit of a weird order for the episodes, but the main series of Haruhi didn't air its episodes in order, so it's par for the course. Looking at what was listed on the wiki, that's still 3 lost episodes and 3 partially lost episodes. But if you've been keeping count, that means episodes 6 to 8 are nowhere to be seen. Recovering a couple of lost episodes would be something, but completing a series with them? Now that would be the next level. And thus, I began my mission. Part 1. The Search I had the DVDs for Season 2 and the movie, but these were UK releases. Looking at old blogs from the time, I found pictures of the US releases, and could see that Season 2 and the movie both contained ASOS Brigade episodes. However, I also noticed that more recent listings of re-releases didn't include these. Season 2 would naturally come with a second season of ASOS Brigade episodes, one that I couldn't really find a lot about on the internet anymore, but the movie? I had no clue what that would contain. Maybe even the three lost episodes. I tracked down editions of these DVDs from the initial release period, but these were coming from America, so they'd take time to arrive. I needed to use that time to find answers. So with the power of the Wayback Machine, I took a trip to 2007. The site hadn't been entirely archived, so there's plenty of dead links here and there, but a large portion of it had been preserved, and with plenty of different dates to explore. My first port of call was to see the state of the videos, since those were what I came for. I picked a date in late 2007, the last time the site was significantly updated for a while, and went to the video section. Here it listed episodes 0 to 5, 9 to 10, and 13, with three unnumbered episodes. None of these played, of course, but their existence was at least confirmed. I went to the dead video hosting site, Rever, but again these videos had not been archived. I could at least read the description for Web Only Episode C and Special Episode. Episode C's description gave nothing, but the file size of 44 megabytes. Compared with other ones, it indicated that it was at least fairly substantial. The website didn't give a lot to go off of, just stating that Sakuracon and Team Dreamcatchers show us their technique. Dreamcatchers were a smallish voice acting group who were regularly involved giving performances at Sakuracon. Some of the members, such as Eric Kimura and Kira Buckland, have gone on to fairly notable roles in anime and game voice acting. Given this episode says web only and has been purged from the internet, I doubt it will be found. Maybe some Dreamcatcher members have a copy somewhere, but it's probably fair to write this episode off for now. The special episode, though, only had a file size of 10 megabytes, and given the description, it seems likely that this was a very short video giving information about the American DVD release, which would be what the next non-numbered video was about. The launch event was actually included on the DVD I owned, and was exactly what it says a video about the launch event for the Haruhi DVDs, so chalk up another one that definitely isn't lost. But that was where my search came to an end, really. Episodes 6 to 8 were still missing. None of the second season episodes starring Christina V seemed to be available online. More on those later. I hadn't really found anything out, but I felt as though I understood the problem more, so until my DVDs came, 
I just had to wait. Except I had a whole website full of content just waiting for me to use. Part 2, the ASOS Brigade. So I think it's finally time to get into the specifics of what the ASOS Brigade actually was. It's more than a series of videos. It's closer to a full-on ARG. The website had posts in character from various cast members of the series, and between posts, you could work out some sort of narrative, as well as hidden messages on the site. And according to one of the videos, even hidden messages in the source code. These messages would often relate to news regarding the show and upcoming events. The more I browsed the site, the more fascinated I became. I only got into anime in my late teens, so I missed out on being a part of the Naughties anime fandom. And when I see people cringing, looking back at old footage like this, I can't help but feel like I was missing out on something. The ASOS Brigade website made me feel like I'd found a wormhole to 2007. I would constantly be getting mild secondhand embarrassment, but I also found it strangely charming in how it was so specifically dated. The way they would use RAR XD speak for Suruya. News items would be on Haruhi Dance Contest. Get Haruhi on your phone! There were polls like, what character do you want to see in a bunny costume? Or one asking if you wanted to see more bunny girl art? Or new ASRS Brigade episodes? And the results were in favour of the bunny suit. <sighs> if this is why we're missing episodes... Another great find was Kion's MySpace page, where he'd write in-character blogs. The profile was mostly what you'd expect. His interests were not only Haruhi-related things, but music like Marilyn Manson and Queen, which... I guess I could see Kion enjoying? The section where he says, Who I'd like to meet. Normal people. Please. Felt so perfectly Kion. But back to the site. One bit of the narrative they created that stood out to me came from the school principal. After the ASOS Brigade violated school policy, they were put under investigation, and as punishment, two episodes were set to be banned. However, they would be released on the DVDs. Episodes 7 and 8, supposedly. But these weren't on my DVDs, and there was still no sign of episode 6. And so I had to fork out further expenses on my quest tracking down original US releases of Season 1, since these would be the ones mentioned on site, giving me even more DVDs to wait the arrival of. Weeks later, after having one package get lost in America on the way here, I finally had all the DVDs I needed. Or so I thought. Part 3. The DVDs. I checked the Season 2 DVD, nothing on Disc 1, just like my UK one. Disc 2? just a subbed audio drama, like the one I already had. Disc 3 though, success. I had two season 2 episodes, episodes 0.888 and 1. Disc 4 and I got episodes 3 and 4. I moved on to the movie and they had The Disappearance of Christina, which was listed as episode 5 when I clicked on it, but no episode 2. I went through my new season 1 DVDs, expecting episodes 7 and 8, but it was exactly the same as my existing UK DVDs. Exactly the same. So it seemed I was missing four episodes. I browsed the site through various dates, and could be pretty sure that no episode 6, 7 or 8 was ever posted there. And likewise for season 2, no episode 2 was posted. If these episodes existed anywhere, they had to be on the DVDs. But why were episodes 7 and 8 drawn attention to if they weren't here? Getting a little desperate, I remembered there were two other Haruhi DVDs released. Haruhi-chan and Chiruya-san, Chibi Shorts. I didn't have the UK releases, but I didn't expect them to have any ASOS Brigade specials on them. If they were going to be anywhere, they'd be on the US version. Yet I couldn't actually find any listing saying what specific special features were included. After Season 1 proved a waste of money, I didn't feel like spending extra on a gamble. But, as luck would have it, I managed to find an old review blog that posted a picture of the back cover, and I could make out the words, 
ASOS Brigade, but only on the first volume. I couldn't be certain what episodes were there, maybe they'd just be ones that were on other discs. But at least at this point I knew there was something. The chance was worth it. Which meant that for the fourth time now, I had to import from the US. But when it arrived, I found none of the missing episodes I was searching for. Instead, three completely new episodes. And this was better than not finding them, but it still means I have potentially a total of six missing episodes when I include the two web-only ones. Season 2, Episode 2 is probably the easiest to explain away. Both the website and DVDs go from Episode 1 to 3. None of the five confirmed episodes this season aired out of order, like Season 1's did, and since Season 2 of the show proper didn't air out of order, I have no reason to suspect this happened with Episode 2 of the ASRS Brigade. Instead, I think it's likely that Episode 0.888 should be considered Episode 1, and Episode 1 should be considered Episode 2. The three missing numbered episodes from the first season though are a little harder to explain away. My first theory was that these episodes were simply not given numbers. After all, there's three unnumbered episodes and three missing numbered episodes. It would line up perfectly. But that post claiming episodes 7 and 8 would be on the DVD debunked that idea. I could only find one of the unnumbered episodes on disc. So I think there's a few possible explanations. The first, episodes 6, 7 and 8 were planned, but for some reason were either never finished or never released to the public. But the second is what I prefer to go with. The blog post mentioned two episodes being exclusive to the DVD. Well, there were two episodes exclusive to the DVD release. Episodes 11 and 12. So I think these are the missing episodes 7 and 8. Somewhere along the way with the weird numbering, a mix-up happened somewhere. Maybe after they made episode 13 early, they realised they didn't have enough episodes to make it to 13, so they made an episode 11 and 12 to fill that gap out more. Or perhaps it's a similar situation to what we had with season 2, and we can count episode 0 as a numbered episode, count 4.1 and 4.2 as separate episodes, and web-only episode C as episode 6. That'd also give us the missing three numbered episodes. I can't say for certain, but what I can say I'm about 95% sure, episodes 6 to 8 don't actually exist as episodes with those names. Part 4. The Show Now that I had confirmed what episodes were available as best I could, I began to finally actually watch them. And boy was it an experience. Haruhi was played by Patricia Jolly, probably best known for voicing Jill from Resident Evil who spoke English. However, the actresses for Yuki and Mikuru only spoke Japanese, and everyone just acts like this is normal. For the first web releases, they didn't even sub the Japanese, making it an even weirder viewing experience. And speaking of the subs, in the first episode when Haruhi says psychic, the psychics here, present your they subtitle it as Esper, and even draw attention to this change with the typesetting. The plot of this series, if I can even call it that, is Haruhi setting up a division of the SRS Brigade in America, hence the A in the front, and overseeing the dub for her show, though some episodes seem to have very little to do with this concept. The whole product is incredibly low budget and kinda cringe inducing, but I suspect that was intentional. It feels like something Haruhi herself would create, especially when episode 0 of the main show actually shows you the sort of movie Haruhi would make. The awkwardness of everyone involved is just part of the comedy. The whole thing feels on the production level of a porn parody. That said, it's actually decently informative. Episodes include interviews with both the English and Japanese cast, as well as various other people involved in the production of the show. Other episodes might announce bits of news related to the release of the show, or celebrate a specific part of the fandom and the main cast remained in character the whole time. Some of the interviews with the dub cast, while probably scripted, haven't aged well, and it can feel a little painful hearing some of these lines from them. Can I be frank? Yeah. The quiet ones, they tend to be the kinky ones. Oh. Okay. Speaking of things aging, as with the site, 
these episodes can be specifically dated, thanks to all the appearances of contemporary anime from the time, and lines like this. How's Kion gonna do my MySpace blog on this thing? Which also helps to link it to the site, as Kion does have a MySpace page he runs for the ASRS Brigade. The episode credits often have some little gag credit in them, and there's always a line thanking fan sub viewers who support official releases, which I think is just really cute. They do some creative opening titles too. One episode uses DVDs as an intro, while another has a long extended scene of Puppet Haruhi. Overall, I feel like this is a really creative way to put some behind the scenes content out there, rather than just the generic DVD extra format. Season 2 is a lot shorter, only 4 main episodes. And episodes 0.888 and 1 are... uh... If you remember the Endless 8 arc of the show, you'll know what's coming. So basically it's just 3 episodes. But to be fair, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff would have been the same for the second season as the first, so this way is better than just rehashing what's already been done. Haruhi was recast as Christina V, and as well as this, Yuki and Mikuru were also recast, and now speak English. Yuki was even recast between episodes 1 and 3, with the old reliable, did you do something with your hair, sort of joke about it. Christina V also returned for the 3 episodes that came with the chibi shorts, which continued in a similar tone as the rest of the series, this time working in adverts for the manga release and streaming of the show, collaborating with Yen Press and Crunchyroll for the release of these episodes though I couldn't find any of this on their sites anymore, so I'm very thankful for physical media. The final episode was episode 5, released with the movie, and it's a bit of an anticlimax for a final episode, clocking in at only one minute. But I do like the Gundam popcorn on display. From season 2 I managed to find out about the ASOS Brigade Twitter and Facebook, however very little of the Twitter was archived and none of the Facebook page. I don't want these episodes to remain so hard to find. They're not on reprints, and outside of America, many of them were never even on the initial DVD run. More people should be able to view these, especially since the majority of episodes were released online for free, even officially distributed by torrents. Now that I've found these, I feel as though I've almost got a duty to preserve them. So at the risk of getting a copyright strike on my channel, I have just released a video compilation of every episode. Half of them are already on YouTube, but not always in the best video quality, or are cut down. Since the episodes aren't on new releases, there's no way Bandai would receive anything from others doing what I did and tracking down old DVDs, so I don't feel bad doing this. And since they're a compilation, it will only be one video I could get a strike on, <laughs> rather than multiple. There's still the two web-only episodes missing even if one of them was tiny. However, I've reached the end of where I can get with that search on my own, and I don't expect this video to get much reach. But perhaps one of you might know someone who knows someone else who knows someone who is involved with the original project. It's a slim chance, but maybe if we share this around enough, we might actually be able to find these missing episodes, and truly have a complete series. I suppose the last thing I have to cover here is what happened to the site, and it's a sad tale really. Part 5 – The End of the ASRS Brigade After running throughout 2007, in December the site went down for holiday maintenance. They announced it with a cute in-character post from Tsuguya, showing her love of cheese, and over the Christmas period the site was just a picture of Christmas Haruhi, saying they were closed for the holidays. By the start of April it was still closed, but at least the picture had changed to one of Mikuru, which wasn't archived. Later on in the month, the site briefly came back, with Tsuruya being the only character present, saying she'd been left alone, and talking about a couple of con dates. However, just a few weeks later the site was down for minor maintenance, and remained in that state till July 2009, when a couple more posts came from Tsuruya, keeping the site alive. But after these posts, it took till December 2009 for the next update. The site was properly reworked and under construction again. The old videos were reposted, and the odd bit of extra details about new episodes was being posted. The site was still only really run by Saruya though. By 2011, the site had updated yet again. It relied mostly on Flash, 
so I don't really have much to show you. All that's left is this big Buy Harahi Stuff link. The site remained in this state for a few years, but by 2014, it was a site telling you to avoid loan sharks and the best backbone surgeon. Clearly the domain wasn't renewed and someone else had bought it up. But this new site didn't last long. Over the years it's gone through various different shady looking sites. Become a place for a Japanese points card, a Japanese guide to finding a wife, a Chinese office furniture retailer, and possibly my favourite incarnation, this page trying to sell you the domain. Clearly they've sort of worked out what the site was about, but then people of peace, brigade quartermasters, they're not quite there. As of writing, the site is currently unreachable, but who knows where it will go next. However, one thing that absolutely needs to happen, when in like 2035 we finally get Haruhi Season 3, bring this back. Give us more of the ASRS Brigade, and take us back to a simpler time of the internet. If you're still here, thanks for sticking around till the end. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. I don't make loads of videos and they're usually on whatever topic currently interests me, but if you like this let me know and I'll try some more stuff in this style. I'm still working on that Mass Effect video I mentioned a while back, but that's shaping up to be over an hour and a half long, with me constantly redoing bits I'm not happy with, so that's on the back burner for now. Anyway, as always, stay safe and have a great rest of your day.